So we had our grand opening of the new science and engineering building on the campus that has been part of our dreams for the last 12 or 15 years. Here we are today, so it provides a great opportunity for our current students and for future students to support their science coursework and engineering coursework. Well, I'm a former educator, so anytime that you can enhance the quality of education in your community, it's going to mean positive things uh, for here in Marion. But as mayor, I intend to use this as an economic development tool. When we're talking to companies that are looking for the skills that this educational institution, which is worldwide recognized, the Ohio State University, uh, that's important when you're trying to recruit a company co to come to your community. Uh, we're talking to an aerospace company right now out of California. And the fact that this institution is going to be here and this building is now ready for business is going to be important to a company like that. Making this community stronger and better is very important to our family and to our community. So we wanted to contribute to this building and now it's a great addition to our community. And their cooperation today, working very hard to build a better workforce. It's very important to us. It was important for us to make a donation to the uh, OSUM campus for science and engineering um, to have that um, kind of hometown feel so people that grew up in Marion can go to school here and then get a job right here in Marion in a field that they want to do in an industry like ours that spans the entire world. So this biology program, well, the way we envision it, is will offer not only just the opportunity to take a class, but the opportunity to do independent research. That is important for a developing student. More and more of the students, when they get out of here, they may not necessarily go to higher education, so they have to have those skills that uh, are required for them to get a better job when they finish a bachelor's degree in biology. So we like to provide that opportunity for them by training them in the classroom and also training them in independent projects in our laboratory so that they will be able to compete at the national level when they get out of here. To have this new building with all of its dedicated research space, all the research is going to allow us to undergo, and everything that we can do here is invaluable to me. Well, having the large number of enrollment for a CSE major and also having this facility, the new science and engineering building, help us to offer more courses in the CSE and also to uh, attract more students and expand the engineering major, especially computer science. And the hope is to uh, offer a full four year CSE program in the near future. I've often made the analogy that our, our buildings, particularly buildings like this, science engineering buildings, buildings with, with laboratories, buildings that have state of the art uh, equipment and things for us to be able to use. Our, they have a relationship to our students and faculty that a race car has to a race car driver. You have great talent, great ability, great uh, drive, great focus, but if you don't have the right equipment, you can't really win the race. And by g giving the best people the best equipment, the best opportunity to get in, put it in gear and take it forward, you really can make things happen that weren't possible uh, in, uh, or certainly not easily possible with, uh, with the old equipment. So it's great to be able to do this for us. Having this building here, I think, really makes this campus um, a robust place for learning. I know that Gordon was very excited about this building, and that it's an honor for him and for his memory. And I know that he would be very proud. <laughs>